I'm Philip Moawad. Today, I'll present a book that we, three performance experts and developers of Apache Gmeter team, have written. So first, let me present who we are. Uh, the book is written by Antonio Gomez Rodriguez, who is a long-term expert in performance field. You can see his presentation in this web page uh, on LeanPub website. So he has been doing performance tests on high traffic websites. He has been working for Dynatrace and he knows various load testing tools like Gmeter and LoadRunner. And he gives trainings, performance audits and things and similar things. The other author is Milamber. Milamber is a long time committer on Gmeter. He has been working with the tool since December 2003. He performs security audits, performance tests, and he's currently a committer on and chair of the Apache Gmeter project. He's also committer on another Apache project. And uh, myself, so I'm Philip Mouawad, I work as technical expert and architect at Ubic Ingenery. I've been working in performance field since 2007 and particularly using Gmeter since 2009. Um, I, I'm a developer on Gmeter. I also maintain Gmeter Maven plugin. I'm lead developer of Ubic Load Pack, a set of enterprise grade plugins for Gmeter. And I'm a writer on Ubic, Low, Ubic Ingenuity blog. So let's see now what's in the book. First, let's mention that uh, we have the great honor to have our book prefaced by Alexander Podelko, who is an authority in performance field and board director for the Computer Measurement Group. As you can also see, we have already nice uh, reviews and testimonials by recognized members in the performance uh, community and Gmeter community, and we thank them. So let's now see what's in the book. So we tried to write a book that mixes a methodological approach to performance testing and a presentation of Gmeter, its basic and advanced concepts, in order to allow you to use Gmeter in the most optimal way. So, as you can see, there's a first chapter called Quick Start with Gmeter, which shows the whole process to jumpstart a reader and make him perform easily a load test from zero so it describes how to record an HTTP browsing session, uh, save your script, validate it, set it up and launch it, run the load test and analyze it. Then we give an overview of Gmeter with the, the supported test protocol in the core and in the third party plugins, uh, the type of load test it supports and uh, how its reporting works. Uh, then we start presenting the performance methodology and we'll show you how to design a test case. Uh, from we, we first present the type of, per, of load tests that you can perform, the different load models, uh, how you should structure a, a test case, how to identify critical business scenarios to script, and how many virtual users you should be using. And of course, uh, all the best practice to write a realistic uh, scenario and a meaningful one. Then we go back to Gmeter and we present important concepts to understand it in order to master, uh, ma to master Gmeter and build uh, maintainable script and reusable scripts. And we think we cover uh, in this chapter topics that are not always uh, understood by beginners, so it's, uh, it's a critical chapter regarding Gmeter. 
we, we go back to methodology and show then how to prepare the test environments, injectors and the tested systems. So it covers how to set up the injectors, how to prepare the tested system uh, and important things to have in mind. Then we get back to Gmeter and by the way this chapter is uh, you can download this chapter for free it's a sample chapter in the book uh, if you want to download it it's uh, here it's uh, the free sample so uh, in this chapter we give a lot of tips and tricks uh, to be very productive with Gmeter in all fields of uh, of load test from writing the script to debugging it how to finalize it uh, etc then we cover uh, how to load test a website. Uh, it, it includes both methodology and how to use Gmeter for such task. We, we cover then how to load test web service and particularly microservices, REST, REST web services and SOAP web services. Uh, we also cover how to load test a database server uh, and of course, a message, how to load test message-oriented middlewares via GMS. We then dedicate a chapter on how to perform a load test with Gmeter and the different ways to run a load test from Torus, from core command line, just the command line and just Gmeter, to using Torus or Apache Maven, Jenkins and Apache Ant. We then uh, give you uh, the how to ways to visualize the load testing results using either just Gmeter or uh, third-party tools, uh, pass solution like Redline 13 or Blaze Meters, Blaze Meter. Uh, some tips to read the results, and uh, this is from our experience. Uh, tips from our experience and errors to avoid. And finally, uh, this chapter is still in progress. We'll present how to integrate Gmeter in the DevOps tool chain and particularly how to automate and use DevOps tools. So uh, if you're looking to buy this book, uh, it's, the URL is leanpub.com. Uh, it's here. You can also, of course, search for Gmeter here. You'll find our book here and you can uh, buy it here by paying uh, the price you'd like to pay uh, and you think it deserves. So I hope we'll count you uh, as reader in the future and uh, I see you soon. Bye.